Getting started with that first JavaScript application is the most difficult thing that you can do, but it's also the simplest thing that you can do. I remember years ago when I was learning web development, I have delayed for so long that moment of actually creating something with my own hands, aka using my code editor and my fingers to get something out there. I started, you know, like you, using Udemy, using all these online resources, YouTube videos and whatnot. And it took me probably like six to nine months till I finally started creating something with my own hands. And the thing is, I was just procrastinating. I was just watching videos and I was hoping for the best. You know how some people are just reading self-help books but never apply what they are reading i was exactly like that i was a theory junkie but in order to become a programmer you need to create stuff there is no way around it so in order to get out of this misery which is just being a, a theory junkie a self-help junkie but with code you need to change your mindset completely and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so you can finally learn code and land that first developer job no matter how long it's going to take you. okay so let's get started the first thing that you need to understand as a beginner, you do not need to reinvent the wheel. In reality, bar for your first application is so, so low, anyone can start doing it. Of course, you need to have some sort of vocabulary. You need to know your basics, your variables, functions, if else statements, all that stuff. You need to have that. And the problem with most courses and most online you know, programs, I guess, is that they teach theory. So for example, I was speaking with a client the other day who was studying from free code camp. And then he said that I'm learning about arrays and all this stuff but i don't know how they apply to the real world and that's the problem that right there the theory that is being taught in all these online courses is not being redirected to the real world everyone is focusing on teaching you every single detail of the programming language they are focusing on making sure that you know every single aspect of the theoretical thing how it was created the history and all this bullshit but they forget the most important thing how is the theory applied to the reality so if it's you in this stage right now your main job is not to create applications but to figure out why am i learning this thing in the first place because if you understand that then you start to develop a vocabulary why do you need a vocabulary in the first place if you do not have a vocabulary you won't be able to search me and you we are developers we don't know everything but we know how to search anything that we want our most important skill and now with chat gpt and whatnot we have the craziest freaking craziest assistant in our hands and if you know how to ask ChatGPT or if you know how to ask the right question on Google, you will find the answer to anything. So your job is not really to write code, but to find answers to questions and you need to learn how to ask questions. So in order to ask better questions or in order to know how to ask questions, you need a vocabulary. So that's the first thing that you need to understand. The next thing, after you have this vocabulary, because at some point you're gonna get it, right? It's gonna take you maybe a month or two months max to get this vocabulary. Once you have this vocabulary, you start mimicking, right? You start replicating. Personally, I was in art school. And in art school, we didn't start by drawing people straight away. We started by looking at other pictures, other drawings, other paintings, and we were replicating them, right? That's how you learn, by mimicking things. I taught myself drawing by taking, you know, some cartoon, putting it on, on the window and then I had another piece of paper on top of it and I started to draw the outlines and I was teaching myself how to hold a pencil and whatnot and I was getting better at drawing that's how I approached learning JavaScript I started looking at applications that I was using every day and then I started mimicking parts of them not the entire app you cannot you know create Facebook from scratch I cannot do it right you need thousands and thousands of developers to do that but you can create one button from Facebook right if you are at the beginning and you only know html and css you can just focus one day to create a blue button with a white text you can start with that it's as simple as that then you can teach yourself how to click on that button then you can teach yourself how to write some javascript program that will change the button then you can teach yourself then after you learn javascript you can create that button then after you learn javascript you can create a javascript application sounds crazy right javascript application that will change the color of the button when you click on it it's so simple that's it that's your first project it's not that difficult and your google query should be how can i change a button's background color on click that's the question and then you'll start to develop a better vocabulary as you are searching but the problem that most people have is that they want to learn everything but in reality you need to learn the vocabulary the words the simple sentences that when asked on google will give you some sort of answer back and then you start to expand you know, this bubble, which is your current knowledge, right? 
the more questions you ask, the better you'll get. Because these questions will start to compound. If you ask this question here about this subject, then you have this question here about this other subject, then you'll be able to deduct another thing from that subject, right? From those two subjects. And then you get better and better and better at asking questions at using ChatGPT. And at some point, sooner rather than later, you'll know exactly how to build any JavaScript application. And then once you know how to build any JavaScript application, then you can learn a library and whatnot. And the process starts again and again. But here is the problem. Most people are afraid of doing this. Most people are afraid of even trying. And I'm gonna tell you a little story about myself this this winter i went to snowboard i i'm trying to learn to snowboard for three years now it's been like three seasons so i spent like three weeks in total over the past three years trying to snowboard and for the first two days this winter the first day the first two days when i was going snowboarding i was focused so much on not falling that i forgot that i'm there to snowboard and then i've made this decision okay i know i'm gonna fall i know i'm gonna hurt myself but at least let me try to snowboard and if i fall i'll fall anyway right but here is the change that happened. Instead of focusing on not falling, I'm focusing on snowboarding because falling is gonna happen anyway. When I was focusing on not falling, I was falling more than when I was snowboarding. Because when I was falling because of snowboarding, at least I was having fun for five minutes or so. So focus on having fun and focus on enjoying the process and understanding the lessons that you are uh, getting, you know, from your console and whatnot. Life is full of failures and lessons, but an unsuccessful person will literally stop when they first hit a roadblock, when they fail once. Probably heard millions of stories of people who tried something, didn't achieve it, and they stopped. Have you ever heard of, of a story like that? No, why not? Because that's the story of an average person. But what you hear about is the story of someone who tried something, they failed, they tried again and again and again and again and again and again. They reiterated, they learned, they suffered, they, they went through a lot of turmoil, everything was against them, everyone was telling them you're not good enough, they were doubting themselves, but for some reason they stupidly kept going and finally reached the destination. And that was my story as well. I was feeling insecure as fuck. Maybe I look confident now, but back in the day when I was learning code, I wasn't that confident. Every day I was questioning myself, is this possible? Is this even possible? I'm a Romanian guy in London. Everyone has like a posh British, British accent. Can I even make it here? That was going through my mind all the time. But then I was realizing, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna give up on this. That's, this is my only choice to get out of this to start a new life. So if you feel like, what if I fail? What if you don't? Or if you fail, so what? You failed once, three times, four times, five times. Give yourself five years to fail. Most people put so much pressure on themselves because they say, in six months, I don't even know the otherwise. Otherwise what? What you gonna do otherwise? I don't know. What are you gonna do? Okay, six months are passing. You are putting a lot of effort. You finally start to make some progress. And now, oh, six months passed. I'm not a six figures developer. Let me stop this and go and cry. What you gonna do? Are you gonna quit for what? What are you gonna gain from quitting? Because if you quit, you know what's gonna happen? You will start to doubt yourself and then you'll feel bad because you are letting yourself down once again. And then after three years, you realize how big of a mistake you've made because you didn't stick to it. And then you'll start again. And then because you develop this quitter, gene things will get tough again you'll already start from zero again and then you'll quit again because it's getting tough. what one thing that you need to understand is that right now is the best time to get in web development because it's the easiest it's not gonna get easier from now on the best time was five years ago because that's when it was the easiest right and now even 10 years ago it was easier so it's always gonna get harder and harder and harder we have ai now we have hiring freezes now we have all this bullshit now this is the best time to get in because if you get in now, you know you can do anything you want whenever you want. Because if it's tough now, and if you manage to get yourself together, then when something bad is gonna happen once again, you know that you've done that in the past, and then you can absolutely conquer the monster and you can achieve whatever goal you want. Because I really believe anyone can achieve whatever they want if they stick enough with the thing that they've decided to do, and if they are conscious about it, and if they are not scared about it, if they're going at it like a professional at the end of the day. That's my rant, I hope you liked it. Just get started, bro, let's get started. If you are a complete beginner, there is a link in the description for you. Join school, there is a free program there. 
you learn how to build websites with HTML and CSS, that's gonna get you up to speed. Um, if you want to have more help from my side, you can apply for a free consultation call. In that, also in that free community, there will be uh, probably a monthly uh, call where I'm gonna give you feedback and whatnot, I'm gonna help you out. But if you want help every single day with your problems and you wanna, you know, accelerate your learning, you have to apply for a free consultation call. Both of those links are in the description and I wish you good luck, peace.